it's only fitting that we end it with an extended oh, you're ending look it here? at one of the most anticipated games in Xbox history. This is Starfield. Okay, my list has been updated. Here's Starfield for you. Xbox console exclusive. Yes, sir. I'm here for this. I mean, I'll probably get a PlayStation eventually, but, you know, console exclusive, yo. I don't need to just yet. What are these dots? I'm get my face out of this so y'all can see this, you know. Let me hide myself so y'all can. Nah, do you know what? Y'all can see my face. What soul is it? What star system is this? Does everyone know? Daddy, let's go. It's about time. Mm. Tell me something about Action Machine Blizzard. It's hard to though. express how excited it's all big of Daddy us Todd. are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield. Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But this time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Show me something. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, this is a ship. Okay, you can see the UI there. Your oxygen levels are on there. It says what planet you're on. Your CO2 levels. Your health, your weapon. Grenades! Okay, it's a very bare bones uh, UI compared to everything else. There's According not to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Somewhere to your left. You can see it on the on the on the HUD. You know. So they don't have the big north, south, east, west thing up top like they did in Skyrim and all that. You know, and there is a day night cycle. I think that's clearly what we're seeing there. Enemies are marked and red on the HUD. I'm guessing that cone there is your field of view. Okay. It's gonna be, give me numbers for what damage you've done to it. Yo. Yo. Okay. Yo. Okay. There's a few of them there. Yo. Yo. Okay. Okay. I like the scanning function. You can mine ores, okay. Way quicker than Skyrim, honestly. It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Okay, Crimson Fleet, one of the factions. You have a weapon scroll wheel, okay. That looks like a plasma rifle from, uh, what's it called? From Fallout. It also looks like the uh, P90 from uh, Modern Warfare. Pirates! You can join the pirate faction, I know that for a fact. Huh? 
Okay. The gun sound sounds pretty good in this. Shotguns. Oh! I'm just... This engine looks pretty dope, honestly. Like, the guns look amazing. The graphics, amazing. I... I am for this, yo. Yo, okay. I don't know what type of gun this is. Is it like a DMR type weapon? There's no crosshairs. I'm noting that there is no crosshairs on screen, yo. So. That ship's grand. Oh, it's very clearly a Bethesda game. But it's pretty dope as well. Oh, yo, there's a grenade ahead. After some initial encounters, you're invited oh, to Todd, join you tease. Absolute who, in the tease, Todd. The set in are the last group of space explorers. Mm -hmm. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. New Atlantis? Show me some in-flight gameplay. I want to see if I can fly the ship myself. Because obviously there's that leak about... Yo, that looks dope, first off. But obviously, there's that leak about how flying is kind of janky in this game. Come like an ex dev. So, I want to know if I can fly this ship. I want to see flight gameplay here. I like that watch. It's like your Voltec watch, but a lot smaller. Hello, baby. Welcome What's up? Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. She's from the trailer, I think. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. Hmm? What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, yeah. what they're building. Okay, artifacts that are building something. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? A new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means yes, you sir. saw it. Yeah, <laughs> that's very clearly a Bethesda character. The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. Okay. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man I am. who sold me this He's very told me odd. that it spoke to him. Your across, accent's kind of weird. The settled systems is full of groups with other priorities. Oh, yo, homie looks dope. Everybody get ready! The crimson doesn't crimson. follow the rules. Agree to work for you, Are some pirates? Sister. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. They are pirates. Okay, the Crimson Fleet are pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad uh, guys. We're peacekeepers. Peacekeepers. We the people of the Free Star Collective. Oh, the rock. When you say Maybe that's the base. Fleet, no one quits. The Crimson Fleet are pirates. Is death. Is death. Yep, they're, they're a gang. May be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most dusties don't even make it this far. Because mm -hmm. whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. Yes, ma'am, I'm sure it will. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Character creation, okay, show me what you got, baby. It's our most flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. This is, this is more pick a background that in gives depth, you three starting story. skills. Okay. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having I a did. way with words might prove useful. I there are very optional traits, good with words. and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so, so if you're in this book, you can't be an extra But it's not just in how gotcha. you can look, but in how your character plays uh -huh. and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, mm -hmm. and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, okay. to crafting weapons um, needed to survive. Ah, uh, what's the game called? With the Tenos. And 
you can build your own outposts. Uh -huh. These act as a home Kept from Fallout 4. For survival. Although it looks a lot, a lot better than Fallout 4, you can honestly. Where and how to build each one. I mean, the top-down base building. I like that. To keep it up and running. Yes, ma'am. I can do that. But that's not all. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna show me some flying? Okay. You can even build your own spaceships. I can build, but can I fly? Show me it flying. That's what I want to see. Show me it flying. You can choose crew members. Okay. Like Outer and Worlds. Yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm for this, actually. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. Okay. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. Fan Plan's gonna be the red and gold, you know, red, gold, and black. We're gonna be mercenary it's not just shit. How the here. ship looks, it's how it performs from engines to shields to weapon systems. Because, yes, you can fly it. Show me. Okay, this is what I wanna see. Show me, baby. You're not gonna show. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Hang up. I'm watching. I'm watching. Okay. But what's space combat like then? First person and third person flights. Go show me some space combat. Okay, baby. Show it to me. I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, god damn. God damn. I mean, it seems a bit janky if it's like Star Citizen in third person, obviously. But, uh, yo. That was a jump cut. But it's square. But, yo, yeah, I'm up for this. Asteroids. I'll be honest, space here doesn't actually look all that interesting. I'm not actually all that interested by what, how the space out here looks. You know. It looks very barren and very... It's a bit too bright for my liking. But, uh, you know, I'm hyped for this game, but space does not look great. I'll be honest with you. We can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? Yeah, tell so me. So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. I'm looking. Show me, baby. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. It looks very Earth-like. land in New Atlantis. God did. But you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. Okay. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. Okay, one, two. From barren two, oh. but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. Yeah. And not just this system, but How many over systems are there? Systems. Oh, okay. Over One thousand planets. Okay. All open for you to explore. That's kind of dope. Can't wait to see what you find. I need to know though. Can I fly between systems myself, or is it like a jump port? Like a hyperlink type of thing. Not like hyperlink, you know what I mean. Can I fly between the systems myself? Because that's what I need to know. That's what I want to do. I want to be flying to planets. Myself. I want to be spending live stream flying for years, you know? That's what I want. Yo, that fog looks kind of dope. That, that moon looks kind of dope. I'm, oh. Oh. Uh, the trees don't look great. Yeah, I created another great. Mm. Yo. Yo, okay. Okay, there's like a hyper hyper jump space type of thing there. Okay, I see that. Creation Engine 5, I see you, baby. I see you. Very good. Coming when yo, I heard early 2023, but yo, just saying 2023, okay. That has me a little worried, if I'm being honest with you. 
join console. I can already join Star Constellation right now. Okay. Starfieldgame.co.uk. Aye. <laughs>